Hi, I am Antar Yami and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will explain you regarding different types of species interaction in a community. So let's start. So species interaction are of different type and few species they have positive interaction with each other whereas few species they have negative interaction or detrimental effect on another species and few interaction having no effect between them. So if we assign plus sign as positive effect, negative sign as detrimental effect and zero for no effect then we can have different types of species interaction type such as in neutral where there is no effect on one species on another. For example, two species sharing a common habitat with different feeding habit. In that type, that two species, they not dependent on each other and they, that's why they are neutral or they have no effects on each other. So second type is mutualism when both the species are mutually benefited. For example, a bird pollinating a flower. In that particular interaction, for example, the sunward feeding on nectar producing the flower, the sunward getting its food from the flower, in return this flower or this plant getting the reproduction capability. Then another type of uh, interaction is commensalism when one species is benefited and another have no effect. For example, an orchid growing on a tree. So in that particular interaction, this orchid getting the beneficial uh, part or having a positive effect, whereas the tree getting no benefit from the orchid. In another type, when both the species have negative effect or detrimental effect on each other is the type of competition. So in a competition, two species compete for a similar type of food or uh, two species they compete on similar prey. For example, a lion and hyena fighting over a common prey. So this is the example of competition. Another type of interaction is amensalism where one species is harmed whereas another species have no effect. Such example is a plant struggling to grow under a shade of a tree. In that type of interaction, the species which is growing under the shade is negatively harmed or negatively affected whereas the tree has no effect because of the presence of another plant. So in rest three types of interaction that is predation, parasitism and parasitoidism, one species getting benefit whereas another species getting harmed. So in predation the predator uh, predates on the prey that is gross. Example, lion feeding a rabbit or a deer. In parasitism, there is a host on which a parasite is grow and this parasite get all of its requirements from the host whereas in return the host get either disease or having reduced fitness. For example, a fungus growing on wild rose bush. In next type of interaction that is parasitoidism, one species is benefited whereas another species have harm. For example, wasp lays their egg on a host body. When the egg hatches, the larvae feed on the host. So, there are different types of competition in the ecosystem. For example, intraspecific competition which occurs between the members of same species. Interspecific competition which occurs between the members of different species. So, when resources are limited, a population may exhibit one of the following two types of response. One is scramble competition and another is contest competition. In scramble competition, it occurs when growth and reproduction depressed equally across all individuals in a population as the intensity of competition increases. And this leads to all individuals receiving insufficient resources for survival resulting in local extinction. That is, all individuals in the population have equally affected by the depletion of the resources and that's why there is a local extinction takes place. Whereas, whereas in contest competition it takes place when some individual claim enough resources while denying others a share that is they deny 
other species to grow on the food so in this particular type of competition only a fraction of population suffers that is the unsuccessful individual who can claim their ownership on that food while others successfully compete for the limited resources to to sustain the population so those species which are successful they only sustain their population now there are different other type of competition for example exploitation competition so in exploitation competition the competing individual do not directly interact with each other instead individual of a group reduces a resources to a point that adversely affect other organism for example <coughs> zebra grazing on savannas of africa may influence other by reducing the amount of grass available for others so in this example we can see that these zebras they feed on the grass which limits the availability of the grass for the other species or individuals of the same species so this type of competition is known as exploitation where there is a uh, or there is a compete competition on the resources and there is a there is no direct competition between the individual so another type of competition is interference competition in which individual interacts directly with one another preventing other from occupying a habitat or accessing resource within it so there is a physical contact in this particular type of behavior or competition for example aggressive defense of the nest by birds during the breeding season denying other to access the site and the resources so during the breeding season most of the birds they aggressively defend their territory or their nest from others other birds or species by denying their access to the site and the resources in another example or another type of example of competition is apparent competition which occurs when a single species of predator feeds on two different prey species so we can explain this with the help of the diagram where there are, where h1 and h2 are the apparent or species having apparent competition this h1 and h2 they feed on two different species that is a1 and a2 so and this h1 and h2 have a common predator so the population of h1 and h2 determines the population of p and population of a1 determines the population of h1 whereas population of a2 determines the population of h2 suppose there is a increase in the population of a1 that is increase in the basal species in the a1 <coughs> or a1 which ultimately leads to the increase of h1 and because this predator depends on both h1 and h2 and if h1 is getting increase in population then ultimately it also increases the population of predator and this increase in predator population also affects the population of h2 so h2 indirectly getting the harm or having the risk of being predated so in this type of interaction h1 having a, having a competitive interaction with h2 but that is apparent i hope this video will help you to understand the different type of competition between the species or different type of species interaction thank you please like subscribe and share my channel for further information thank you